Hello guys, welcome to Next Step with Cherry. So if you're my new viewer, I want to say a very big thank you and you might want to click on the subscription because this channel is full of information. So we share information about moving abroad, low tuition university. We assist you like we show you how you can do it. And if you go to our community, you will see a lot, a lot, a lot of testimony from our subscribers that have gotten admission. And uh, if you're my returning viewer, thank you thank you so thank you for choosing cherry and uh today we are going to go into finland you know i've been talking about finland for a while now because i think they have so many juicy opportunities in finland that we might want to try out if we have 30 hours of working like you have to work 30 hours and after your study four years like including your study year you get your permanent resident permit that is so juicy it's so juicy so i uh last time i talked about university that is currently uh accepting students but a lot of people are asking me on my email they send me messages like cherry can you put out like the list of universities so that we can start now to uh you know know and consider the universities that we're going to apply for so one thing that i usually like to do is that some of the universities if i see a university that had a lot of let's say i'm sorry to say it but like a lot of black people i i like to contact the university to ask questions so i saw a few universities and i contacted them and i asked them some question and my number one question always is after school job how is it like how possible it is for students to get job after school so one thing i noticed about that or the reply the response they gave me is that there are nursing courses there are a lot of nursing courses in finland uh, we will list all of them today so their nursing courses they said that there is 100 percent opportunity that you will get a job it's also listed on the website you will see it um their career you will see it because you will go for internship there are there are labor shortage in that area so there are labor shortage in like the ict and also like business administration so you have to consider this you know <laughs> so they they told me that and then i would advise you if you are not so like if you want to go into nursing and you don't have any certificates yet, please start now to go online and learn all this healthcare related certificate because it will help you to boost your admission. It will help you to boost your scholarship chances because I believe that next year there will be a lot of people that want to apply to Finland. So you have to increase your chances of getting admission. And not only that, nowadays there are a lot of scholarships in Finland. So because earlier you know that fin Finland is for free like for international students but then it stopped. So but there are a lot of scholarships for some university or most universities in Finland so that international students can as well afford their tuition. So we have to explore that today. But I would advise you, I would advise you, check all the schools, write it down, not the ones that you would want to go for. The admission is starting by December and January. It does not take, the admission does not take long. It takes like one month and the admission will close. So you have to make sure you prepare all your documents. You have to make sure you know the list of schools that you will apply for. So when it comes to the application, uh, different schools have different ways of application. That is why I said you will ask and also read that website as you are reading your forward. So you have to read that website. So some of them will, will only accept two applications in their university. It's called separate application and we have joint application. So joint application, you can apply for six courses or like six courses in the same or different universities. So it depends. You have to ask them. You have to check. You have to check it and start now to know the courses that you apply for. And then there are different types of universities in Finland. One is university and another one is University of Applied Science. I've said it before. University of Applied Science, we can understand it as polytechnic, but it's not, you know, like it's not polytechnic. So the difference is that in University of Applied Science, before you can apply to that, you might or you will write an examination. So first thing is after application, they have to send you an email for your examination date. And then when they send you the email on that exam day, you just log into your examination link and then you start writing exam. It depends on the course that you are applying for. If you check on YouTube, you will see like question papers, past question papers, how you can go about the exam, how you can prepare yourself. So start now to start preparing yourself and start now to start learning Finnish language if you want to make Finland your destination even though the courses are taught in english but you know the reason why i said it so that it will help you to really you know like fit in the society and also to get a faster job if you want to sponsor yourself so now oh, sorry sorry I, I always look serious so now we will just go through the university we have 20 universities that we are going to explore today i'm going to list the tuitions and i will go i'm tell i will tell you the university that also offers scholarship or the type of scholarship they offer 
first of all we have a a l t o university l t o university i don't know how it's pronounced i'm going to keep it on the description so this university is a university it's not a university of applied science and the tuition ranges from like uh, nine thousand to eleven thousand thirteen thousand depending on the course so most of the courses are taught in english or some of the courses are taught in english mainly master's degree so you can check it out and they have like one way of application that is separate application where you can only choose two courses so you can check that university university out and now we have al Qadar university of applied science yes this university offers nothing so mind you this university offers nothing the tuition is about five thousand euro to seven thousand euro six thousand euro and they offer scholarship so they offer like 50 percent scholarship or 100 percent scholarship 100 percent scholarship is for finland uh, government scholarship you will apply it when you are applying for your for your admission now we have Central University of Applied Science. This university also offers nursing, uh, nursing degree, bachelor's degree, and also master's degree. And now we, their tuition is about 5,000 to 6,000 euro. And then we have uh, the Aconia University of Applied Science. I'm looking at my phone. They also offer nursing. So mind you, we have three universities now that offers nursing. The Aconia University of Applied Science. I'm going to keep it on the description. Please check the description so that you will see the names of the universities. And their, their tuition is about 5,000 to 6,000 euro. They also offer discount and they offer scholarship. So if, if they don't offer scholarship for first year, then the scholarship that they offer for is for second year and that second year means that for your first year you need to learn Finnish language then where you will write an exam if you pass that exam then you can be able to have a discount of about three thousand four thousand for your next year which will help you to you know lower your tuition so and the next one we have uh, we have Hank uh, Ham University of or Ham University of Applied Science H-A-M-K University of Applied Science so their tuition is about 5,000 to 9,000 euro. This university don't have nursing. The nursing they have is in Finnish language. So, and another one is like a jam, but that university Hamk has a lot of other courses. So you might also want to explore that. Another one is jam, J-A-M-K, University of Applied Science. Their tuition is about, about 8,000 to 9,000 euro and they have 50% scholarship so you can apply that when you're applying for your uh, your admission. The admission, as I say, starts from December and ends in January. Some of them might run to uh, till March. So you have to check the university now. You have to check the website. So uh, they have 50% scholarship. And then we have CAMC. So CAMC, University of Applied Science, KMK. Uh, it's a sports and MBA. Like their courses are mainly sports related, tourism related, and MBA courses. So you can as well check that if you're interested in that area. And we have Lapland University of Applied Science. This Lapland University of Applied Science, they also have nursing. So I've called about five universities that have nursing uh, for bachelor's degree. So you can as well check them out. And this Lapland University, one other course that they have that is really interested is machine learning. This is like a new trend now. I mean, like if you can learn that course, you can be able to like go to any country on a skilled work uh, visa. And I mean, like you can you can get jobs so fast. So this machine learning, which is like related to like a natural language processing, like machine translation and all of that, you can as well check that university out for bachelor's degree. And their courses is about... Uh, their courses is about uh, sorry their tuition is about nine thousand to thirteen thousand depending on the courses and now we have metroplia university of applied science metroplia university of applied science they have a discount of 1500 from your tuition and their tuition is eleven thousand euro to thirteen thousand euro per year so but they would give you discount of 1500 euro so but another good thing about this university they have nursing courses this is the sixth nursing school that i'm calling now they have nursing courses and in the second year they will give you a discount of 3000 euro if you can be able to prove that you can speak finnish language at least for a1 a2 so in your first year you need to learn finnish language 
and another university now this university is the university that i asked about the job opportunities and i saw a lot of africans in that in not a lot but like uh, africans that are doing well in that university so this university they said that they have like 100 percent sure especially the nursing degree there is 100 uh, percent possibility for you to get a job but then they told me just like i said you might need to learn finnish language during your studies because you are working in a finnish hospital so there, if you check them, you will see like there are a lot of, you see that they, they seem, it seems to be like African friendly. So you can check that out. And their nursing, their uh, tuition is about 6,000 euro per year. And they have this count of 50%. So in this school, if you get this admission in this school, you are not paying 6,000 6, euro. You are paying 3,000 euro. You are paying 3,000 euro. As well as they also have scholarships. So you see there are a lot of, they are like international student friendly. So you can check Novia University of Applied Science. It's called Novia University of Applied Science. And then we have University of Tampere. This university is a university, not University of Applied Science. And their tuition is about 6,000 to 12,000 euro. So like I said, when it comes to universities, they don't really have uh, a lot of English bachelors. Most of the uh, courses that they have are masters and they are like English taught masters are a lot, but like bachelors are less. So we have, we also have a uh, University of Helsinki. That is the main, you know, the main university in Finland, the top university in Finland. So their tuition is about 11,000 to 13,000 euro. And they also offer scholarships. So we also have a uh, University of Lapland. Yeah, my subscriber got admission in this university. I am so happy. I can't wait for him to go to Finland. So uh, this university, the, the, their programs are mostly master's programs. So the English taught programs are mostly masters. And then we have University of Eastern Finland. So their tuition is about 10K Euro and they also have 50% discount for early bird. You know, like if you pay your tuition early, they will give you 50%. So instead of paying 10,000 Euro, you are paying 5,000 Euro. So uh, that is per year. And we also have University of Oulu. It's O-U-L-U. -U. So this university is also a university, not a university of applied science. So that means that, you know, there are few of English taught bachelors and more of the English taught masters. And we also have University of Toku masters, uh, mostly masters, and their tuition is 11,000 to 13,000. And we have University of Vasa. And then lastly, we have Abo Academy University. It sounds like an African thing. So this university is also one of the top universities in Finland that you can also check out. It's, I think it's mostly, uh, they, they have English taught bachelors, bachelors, but also they have more of English taught master's degree. So you can check all this university out. You can reach out, contact them, please. Every question you have, you can as well contact them because they are always willing to respond. And then you can check out the requirements and start Start now to start getting together your documents as I said if you are worried about your qualification if you are worried about your chances of getting the scholarship or whatever just start now to prepare yourself start now register online courses that's the course that you want to apply for so if you want to go for nursing and you don't have you don't have a previous work experience in nursing or like any course then start now to like arrange yourself and uh, you know register for online courses get the certificate and then put everything together and we will wait to see when the admission start and then we can as well make videos of that and how you can apply but just start now to prepare yourself so with that we come to the end of this video if you have watched to this extent <laughs> please give this video a thumb up and uh, we will see you guys next time if you have any question please drop it on the comment section Please follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my Telegram, and that's because I update a lot of information that I'm not posting on my YouTube. So see you guys and good luck.